Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, <clears throat> if, if, you, <laughs> if you're new here, my name is Nancy. I run an Etsy business. I mostly sew children's clothes and do embroidery, but I also do a little bit of sublimation. Um, I was working on a gift last night and I ran into a little problem while I was printing the image to press onto the shirt. As you can see here, I ran out of the yellow um, ink while it was printing. My yellow is pretty, it's filled. So it's not, it's not out. So that tells me that I have a clog. We are going to go through the steps to unclog your machine to get it to look like it's supposed to. To run a nozzle check, you want to scroll over to maintenance and press OK. And the first option is going to be a nozzle check and you're going to press OK to proceed. It's going to tell you to put a piece of paper in the back. You can use regular printer paper for this so that you're not wasting your sublimation paper. Once it runs the nozzle check, it's going, it's supposed to look like of this, right? You're supposed to see all of the colors. If you print it and it looks like this, when it finishes printing the nozzle check, it will ask you, are you missing any segments? If you are missing segments as so, then you will press yes and they will ask you do you want to run the print head cleaning you say yes and then you'll press this button to start the cleaning it'll take about three minutes and then once you, it's finished with the cleaning then you will run the nozzle check again now i did that a total of five times i ran the head cleaning five times then the next um, option is power cleaning if you click ok it tells you to visit the following website and see your documentation at epson.com support so you click ok done and it doesn't let you go any further than that i decided to google search what am i supposed to do now apparently you are supposed to turn the machine off once it is off you are going to hold down the information button or the question mark and the power key together right so we're gonna hold those down together and it's gonna come on and ask you, do you want to run the power cleaning? Confirm the ink tank is at least a third full. So you wanna make sure that your ink levels are at least above that bottom line there with the arrow pointing at it. The reason why you wanna make sure that your ink levels are not below this bottom line here is because running the power cycle will drain almost a quarter of your ink. So if you are ready to do the power cleaning, then you press okay for yes and it will go ahead and do the power cleaning for you it takes about seven minutes to do that one once it's done you can run a nozzle check again this is the one that i did after i did the power cleaning everything is there like it's supposed to be if it's if everything is there where it's supposed to be then you can go ahead and run your print again We went from this with a clog to this after the power cleaning. That is how you run a power cleaning on your Epson EcoTank 2720 sublimation printer. That's that's all you're getting. Okay, bye.